Like the fountain at Place Jean-Paul Riopelle, this fountain was opened in 2004. It seems that the city had a plan to rejuvenate the entire district known as the Quartier International de Montréal. This was clearly confirmed in 2017 at the Metropolis 12th World Congress, where Montreal presented its 44-page report on its projects. Victoria Square has undergone many transformations since its inception in 1860. From postcards, we can see that the effigy of Queen Victoria, erected in 1872, has in the past existed with and without the aqueous element. It was designed by English sculptor Marshall Wood. To the left of Wood's statue are the first two pools with their series of fountains. The first pool, located just north of St. Jacques Street West, is invisible from St. Antoine Street West. It has four jets. The next pool is located left to the statue and has six jets. Taking a quick look around, to be certain I wouldn't put myself in harm's way while crossing St. Antoine Street West, I'm greeted by another set of six jets before the entrance to the metro. In total, there are 29 jets for these fountains in five different pools for the square. According to Montreal-based WA, it's the firm responsible for the re-engineering of Victoria Square to include fountains wrote on their website. The redevelopment of Victoria Square with its series of fountains and the creation of Place Jean-Paul Riopel, featuring Riopel's bronze sculpture fountain and ring of fire titled Le Jeu, the Joust, are only a few of the attractions that visitors can now discover. The fountains at Victoria Square from St. Jacques Street West up to Vigé Street West create a calming atmosphere in the center of a bustling metropolis.